And thank you, Jay. Volunteers from teams around the country are now heading to Texas, including crisis trained chaplains from the Billy Graham Rapid Response Team, as well as volunteers with the American Red Cross. Now, NBC Charlotte's Billie Jean Shaw has joined us live with the regional American Red Cross field. Billie Jean, basically, tell us what's going on there. Well, Richard, we're just learning 21 American Red Cross volunteers from the Western North Carolina region are making their way to Texas right now. As you just heard from Jay Gray, a lot of damage there, a lot of people in need. And right now I'm joined by the CEO of the region, Angela Broom Powley, excuse me. Correct. And she's here to talk to us about what the volunteers will be doing when they're on the ground. So just kind of walk us through the process. So our volunteers are going to be going in multiple different roles. They'll mm -hmm. be shelter managers, they'll be mental health support, they'll be logist logistics, so they'll be handling the warehousing of uh, blankets and cots and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, they'll be doing disaster assessment. Y you name it, they're going to do that so, and uh, a little bit of everything. So boots on the ground, they're going to be in the thick of it. They will be in the thick of it, right. And we have uh, the American Red Cross has close to a thousand people already there and we expect to double that number within the next few days so we are uh, going through all of our volunteers right now saying can you go can you go for two weeks mm -hmm. and can you go in certain roles because we know that we're going to have to shelter we're going to have to feed and we're going to have to take care of folks for quite some time now we were talking a little bit before this and you yourself have responded mm -hmm. to a disaster before right. uh, the 2015 flood in Columbia of course mm -hmm. a different situation but mm -hmm. just talk about when you're out there just that yeah. atmosphere of helping people and, and what and what are just some of the same things that you'll be seeing you know when people don't know if their home is there to go back to. They've been mm -hmm. evacuated and they're in a shelter. There's a lot of angst. They're, they're upset, they're concerned, but they're grateful. They're thankful that mm -hmm. someone is there to feed them and, and shelter them and meet their simple needs, medical needs. Do they need glasses? Do they need medicine? And the Red Cross is there to do that and take care of them and then help the recovery. If they're, if they're not able to go back home, what are their next steps? And our Red Cross caseworkers are there to help them make those decisions as well. Well, Angela, of course, we're always appreciative of what the American Red Cross does. And if you're at home watching this and want to know how you could help, Angela, where can people go? People can go to redcross.org or can call 1-800-RED-CROSS and they can make a financial donation. Or if they want to learn how to volunteer, to become trained, to go anywhere in the country or to help do that kind of work right here in their community, they can get involved. Thank you so much, Angela, for joining us. Richard, back to you. Thanks so much, Billie Jean.